What's going on there guys? Good evening. It's uh, Earthmaster here on this beautiful Tuesday night, uh, August 8th or August 9th, 2022, about 9.14 p.m. California time. I'm out here with my beautiful co-host, Missy Mimi's. How's it going? How's it going, guys? <laughs> just hanging out here and uh, going to do a quick update, just a real quick one, because believe it or not, this is our second update that we did. Uh, latest quake shows a 3.7 earthquake here around the Aegean Sea coming in as the latest quake on the Earthquake 3D globe. All right, let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here on the map. There is that 3.7 coming in from the EMSC models. We'll go ahead and switch here to the USGS and take a look at the activity we're watching across the map tonight. Uh, movement basically along the west coast somewhat elevated from about the Cascadia zone up here southward through California. Now, we did see some further movement along the San Andreas Fault here, the creeping section with a 2.7 coming in just a little bit ago along with a 2.0. So watching a little bit of activity, uh, still shows some height and movement out here along this plate boundary. Uh, but keep in mind that we have seen quite a bit of activity uh, across the western portion of California here along that plate boundary. And even in the portions up here along the Gorda Plate where we did see a 4.3 earlier this morning. Also was a 4.6 a couple days ago. So heightened activity uh, is definitely on the menu for the West Coast. Uh, as well as down here throughout the South American region and the West Chile Rise area. Uh, we have been watching these areas pretty closely uh, over the last couple days. We do have one earthquake coming in here to the Texas area it looks like around Pecos, a 3.0. Uh, kicking off there in a the little swarm. Uh, not a whole lot going on through Yellowstone. We just checked the Yellowstone map. That is the latest update here. Not a whole lot going on. Some interference going on here at the uh, couple of these stations, but no earthquakes to report in the Yellowstone region. Uh, so most of the activity right now on that teeter-totter effect that we talk about a lot here on this channel. Confined here to the South America region. You got the Cocos Plate here. Uh, and the West Chile rise all the way up here through the North American and Pacific plate boundary. I think we need to watch pretty closely unless we see some larger scale activity here to the West uh, that would alleviate a little bit of pressure here throughout the North American region because all of this activity except for one earthquake that has came in within the last uh, hour or so in the Solomon Islands, we did see a 4.8 prior to that. All this activity from much, much earlier this afternoon time frame. So things are kind of on a halt. Watching the West Coast, North American plate uh, for some further activity. Tremor map tonight was pretty well um, active. Looking at uh, 254 epicenters of Trimmer, mostly into the northern uh, section here and also down here in the southern portion of the Cascadia. Uh, 254, a pretty good number of trimmers tonight. All right, solar weather activity has remained relatively quiet. Uh, looking at just uh, not even a huge chance of any type of solar flaring, only a 25% chance. All other classes there look pretty low. Uh, no major coronal holes that are facing us. Sunspot activity is pretty minimal, and these should be green across the board here for the coming days, at least for the foreseeable future. Unless we get one of these sunspots here really ramping up, Things are just going to be a little on the mellow side. Uh, but I do think we need to watch 3074 uh, and maybe this line here. It looks like they're starting to gain a little bit darker, deeper colors, indicating some stronger magnetic fields. But these guys up here, uh, just kind of just sitting there. That's all they're doing. A little more sunspot development here on the southeastern limb. But aside from that, uh, maybe watch these three. But for now, uh, just pretty much slow as she goes there, folks. All right. We're going to call it a night uh, again. We just got through doing a pretty lengthy video, an update video, and unfortunately I ran out of space here on the computer, uh, so we did have to redo this a second time. But a hey, little a little bit quicker, and my voice held up, so that's all that's good. Uh, we had a, a fun day with the kids at the Halloween store. Again, a member of, or a uh, perk of being a member here on this channel. Uh, you get to see some behind the scenes videos. Uh, special icons and emojis and uh, well the video we took of the kids today at the Halloween store uh, and no one cried at all uh, is up for the members uh, for fo for folks to see there kind of just a perk to join we're also giving away a $40 Amazon gift card here probably 
Um, 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 when did we do the last one? Wasn't that around the... It was towards the end of the, month, the, end of the month. So month. We're going to shoot towards... Weeks. Yeah, but we're going to shoot, I think, towards the middle of the month, month here. In about a week, maybe, um, we'll do a drawing of members only. And uh, we'll pick out uh, uh, on live, uh, on the live video course, we'll do a random drawing. And uh, somebody will win $40 Amazon gift card. So that's another perk of being a member of this channel. We do want to thank all the members out there that have joined. A couple have dropped, but hey, they're always welcome back here on this channel if you decide to. All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe, and we will chat at you another time. Look, it finally worked. Got a good update this time. Woohoo! Good night, guys. Peace, Peace out. out. Have a good night.